Hi, everybody. Hello, I'm Ryan. I'm Bethany. And we are Ryan and Bethany Board Game Reviews. And today we'll be talking about Hammer Time. And this is designed by Sean Graham, uh, Scott Huntington. The artwork is by Natalie Beal, and it is published by Haba USA. All right, this is a dexterity game. You are these dwarves. You are mining away, and you are hitting this you know, this mine with these hammers, trying to get the gems that you need in order to fulfill your orders. Um, but boy, you're actually using hammers. <laughs> um, this is one that our kids love. Let me actually have our kids show you uh, how this works, actually. All right, here is our setup for Hammer Time. We actually have the bottom of the game box here as the board itself, and then we have a ton of these really cool looking gems. We're gonna put them all over the board. I'll get that one later. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip over the top card of our deck. And I've brought along our four year old to help us out. What we're looking for right now is we are looking for two red gems and two green gems. Well, how are we gonna get them off of this pile here? Well, we're gonna use a hammer as the name of the game suggests. Could you demonstrate how to get gems off of the board? Okay, what you're trying to do is you're hammering off gems off of the side of the board, and what's gonna happen is you're trying to fulfill these orders of cards. In this case, there is two reds, two greens, and then anything that you get knocked off that wasn't one of those colors, you put back in the middle, you put the gems that you did achieve on the card itself, and if you've got any blacks, there are no black cards, those are coal, you just put those right back on top as well. You also want to avoid getting more than eight gems knocked off at one time. If you ever knock off more than eight gems at a time, you have woken up the dragon and you're gonna lose your turn. All right, so once you've filled up your card, you're going to discard all the gems that are on it and reveal the next one. You have a new set of gems you need to acquire. There are clear gems on the board as well. Those are wilds that can be used for anything, which is great. And another way to get wilds is achieving these little objectives. So this first one here says, if you knock off an odd number, a number that can't be shared between two people, you're gonna get an extra wild gem. This one says, if you have uh, an even number, you're gonna get a wild gem. If you're able to knock off six, seven, or eight gems, that's gonna get you a wild. Uh, we've got one here that says, actually, if you knock off two of the coals, that's gonna get you a wild. One, two, or three, and I think that's all of them. But yeah, so there's always gonna be one objective out there. You wanna try to achieve that, because if you're gonna get that, you have an extra wild going on. All right, you try to show us again. Try to knock off three yellows and two greens. Ooh, we knocked off a whole bunch. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I got two blacks. Oh, two blacks, nice. If we would have got that, we would have gotten some points. You knocked off less than eight, so that's good. Boy, you got a ton of yellows. All right, so we have one yellow left, and we're gonna finish that card. So every player is gonna have four cards. Whoever finishes their, all four of their cards first is declared the winner. I think it's super fun when the game is like the box. And so as Ryan showed you in the how-to, but still, this is like, look, it's the box. It's the cover. <laughs> <laughs> so I just like, like when it's all contained like that. I don't know why I get a big kick out of that, but I really do. And so when I saw that in this game, I, I like the fun factor was turned on, right? I just saw that from the beginning. I'm like, this is fun. I already like this. <laughs> And it's very much encourages those small taps. You know, if you hit too many, you spew them all over the place and make a big mess. And then, of course, you wake up the dragon, which nobody wants that. So it definitely, you know, encourages those small, precise taps, which I love. Yes. Until at least one falls off. So, yeah, from a parent perspective, that's fantastic. So they're not just like, wait. Yeah, because they will. They will. And do they that. do. Yeah. <laughs> Even knowing that they are going to lose their turn. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you just will see what's going to happen. Like how hard really is too hard. You got to experiment with that. So there's this um, addition you can play with this game. There's this dice in it. This dice. This die in it. And you roll it. And depending on what color it lands on, there's a limitation that happens to you. So you could be hitting it with your non-dominant hand. You could use it to where you can't use your thumb. You have to flip the hammer around and you have to use the stick part of the hammer all sorts of things what i think is really cool those are color corded and
And the artwork around the edges of the box actually showed um, the dwarfs wearing those colored shirts doing those things. So, like, one, you have to go like this in order... You like, have your head on the side of the table. Yeah, you have to have your head on the side of the table on the dwarf that's where I think it's red. And that shirt, when you look at it, he's, like, he's hitting it like this. <laughs> so it's kind of nice. So you don't have to memorize all of it. You can just see what color did I roll and what picture is it around the edge. And so the kids knew that, and they were able to memorize it especially our four-year-old, we were able to roll. She could see the picture on the box and knew what that meant. Yeah, this is one that, especially as, you know, early on, it's nice for the ad adults to have that limitation and not give that same limitation to the kids. And once they're more familiar with it, then everybody gets that limitation. Yeah. Which is really nice. Kind of, that, it's like a little variant. Um, also, the component quality was just unbelievably top-notch. The fact that they had this kind of, that, that, that pad on the, on the board here as well. Um, is instead of just you know, using the box itself was really nice. The gems were big and nice. Uh, the hammer itself was really, really cool. The big wooden components, that's what Hava yeah. does so well, is those big wooden components. And it, this is just another one of those great examples of that. Um, yeah, fantastic production. So overall, I thought this was really fun to play with all four of us. Um, it's nice to find things that we can play and where, um, even though it wasn't necessarily balanced because some of us are better than others, it still worked out, and we all enjoyed ourselves while we were playing it. Yeah, my beard brings out that dwarvish... It totally does. ...mining uh, background like glorious, that, I, glorious that I didn't beard. know that I had. Yeah, it's wonderful. <laughs> it's great. I've had just... a bad hair day, though, I'm noticing that. Yeah. Oh, well. But your beard is glorious. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's really fun that we can play with all four of us, and so I really enjoyed that aspect of this game, and so it was fun for me because all four of us were able to play it and enjoy it while we were playing it. Absolutely. I mean, this is absolute silliness. There's a little bit of strategy, of course, you know, trying to get the exact right area to get that stuff. But overall, it's just silly. This is a perfect family weight game. The whole family can play along. Uh, and they're all the equal playing field. Obviously, you know, have certain strengths and stuff. But at the same time, sometimes kids just, you know, get a, get a really good hit. They know what they kind of need and they just luck into some great situations. Uh, and of course, those big stand-up moments are so much fun when you get the exactly what you need. Yeah. Uh, and it's just everyone's cheering and laughing and celebrating every time. Yeah, this was a fun one. Well, everybody, if you uh, want to subscribe so you can see our videos as they come out, that'd be great. Until then, you can find us on Facebook. We're Ryan Bethany Board Game Reviews. On Instagram, we are Ryan and Bethany. On Twitter, we're Ryan and Bethany One. And on TikTok, we are Ryan and Bethany. All right, you guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.